In this video, I'll show you how to use screen sharing. So once you've selected a, an agent and a model, you can navigate up and share your screen. Now, screen sharing can be used to share your whole screen or a specific window or even a tab to allow the agent to see what you're seeing. Now, the benefits of this are great because it means that you don't have to give the agent continuous context about what's going on on your screen, especially if you're working on something. So in this scenario, I've got my growth marketer, which is tuned to help me promote SIM theory. And in another window, I've got Figma open where I'm designing a, an image to promote the release of a new Gemini model onto SIM theory. So I'm going to click the screen sharing button. I'll select uh, a window here and I'll go ahead and select the Figma window. And so I can blow this up now by clicking this expand so I can just make sure I'm sharing the right screen. And sometimes it's nice to be able to leave it blown up. Now, down in the chat, I'm gonna tell the growth marketer, I'm working on this design to promote a new model. Can you give me five suggestions for better copy? So you don't have to explain what's currently on the screen. It just immediately knows and it can instantly reply. So we'll just minimize this. This can also be moved around. So if it gets in the way, you can move it out of the way. So you can see that uh, I've been given by my growth marketer agent uh, five options like I asked for. So unleash next gen AI power, faster, smarter, more versatile, limited time access, be among the first. And I've got a few different concepts. So let's look at these, uh, maybe grab this one out of here. So I'm going to select it, copy it. And then I'll blow this up so you can see. I'm going to go over to Figma and just cut and paste what it says in. Uh, and so I can say, I think that looks good, but it's a bit vague. So this is just to demonstrate that now the growth marketer can just see what I'm seeing. It's obviously looking at the image in real time and it just shows that relationship between you editing a file and going back and forth with the agent. Now, of course, this can be used for spreadsheets, documents, anything that you're working on throughout the day. Now, sometimes you can have a problem, which is what you're looking at needs some scroll distance. So you might be scrolling down a page and you're trying to get more information to the AI about what you're seeing. So there's a few different ways that you can solve this problem. You can actually give the agent a URL, which is a feature that at the time of recording this video is coming soon, but should be out by the time you're watching this video. So you can click plus and get it to crawl a URL. But sometimes URLs are behind layers of security where the AI can't navigate and go and see what you're seeing, like something like this Figma file in this case. So what you can do instead is use the camera button. So you can just hit this button to capture a screenshot. And then in the Figma file, you could scroll out or down or somewhere else like over here uh, and hit another, hit the screenshot button again. And this works great when you can't see everything on the screen at the same time. So you can take screenshots. On mobile, this works great too, because on mobile, it's the it uses the iPhone or your Android's camera to actually see what you're seeing in real life. And I'll do another video on that demonstrating that as well, but you can actually hit the camera button on it to freeze frame or take a photo and take a bunch of photos that then your agent can see. So. Uh, if you do need to do this and just want to snap a few photos of something that you can't uh, like potentially share with the agent easily, you can also just hit stop and those photos will stay in there and you can ask a specific question about those as well. The screen sharing is also great for having on throughout the day uh, as you work just to allow the AI to just see what you're seeing without you having to think about it all the time. So it can just sit up here and beyond. And of course, for your own privacy and just data security, the, it's it's sending three images to the server and then they're immediately getting deleted. It's only when you ask for something from the agent, it will take that photo, process it, and then it will immediately delete it. So we don't keep a copy of the snapshots it's taking as you're sharing your screen throughout the day, uh, just for your own safety there as well. So that's a, a look at screen sharing. I, I encourage you to use it 
and uh, and check it out and just see uh, if it's beneficial working throughout the day with your AI workspace.